it's day 91. I've sacked my writers, so that means we need to generate some dad jokes for this video. So I'm being a bit facetious. I don't really have writers. It's just me making silly jokes. But one of my favorite things to do is bring up silly jokes in the middle of something that might otherwise be a bit dry so that we can have something fun to talk about. In this lesson, we're going to look at a different API to see if we can explore how we'd understand that. This API is the fantastically named I can has dad jokes. You're going to go there and have a quick look at the API documentation because this really is what tells you how to use it. And most APIs we can use with the same format we used in yesterday's JSON lesson, where we can simply send a request, pull the data back, examine it with JSON, and then start pulling it apart as if it was a dictionary. So let's start by accessing the endpoints of this API. You can see once you've found it, we get a random dad joke. Now we need to get from this address. This website tells us exactly the sort of JSON format we'll get back. We should get back an ID number, a joke, and a status. So all three things that we should know how to access. Let's see if we can build that simply now in a REPL. So I'm going to import requests and JSON so I can make sure I've got access to all that stuff. And I'm going to send my first request. So I'm going to call it a get itself is a function of a web browser. It sends a message that says, I want to get. And we've used that before, haven't we? Get we've used before in, in Flask to pass data in the URL. We're going to get from there. And the first thing I'm going to do, pass it as if it was JSON. And I'm going to pretty print it so we can see what's going on. Now, we'll run this just like before. And oh, now we haven't seen a crash like this before. And this is because I can has dad jokes has a very specific way of asking for information. The API says that if we ask for JSON, if we ask for JSON, we get JSON. If we ask for plain text, we get plain text. And shockingly, if you go there as a web browser, you get the web page. So let's have a look at what's actually been returned before we get a crash. Ah, so when we send the request, we're getting back HTML. We're getting back the page itself. We're not getting back the JSON we need to get the dad joke. So how do we tell the server that we don't want the web page? We want the JSON. Very, very easy. And it's just a second argument to requests. All we need to do is add this. We need to add headers and we need to add it as an array. We need to add it as a dictionary. And this needs to have the first key as accept. The value of that needs to be application slash JSON. Now this is what it says to do here. That's what it can accept. Now, I'm not changing the way this works, but if I click run now, you'll see that we're getting something slightly different back. And now you'll see that instead of getting the HTML, we're getting the JSON format, which means that we can go back to our original code should now show us the JSON dictionary. Brilliant. The important thing here is that we needed to send a header request. We needed to say, I want a specific format. Sometimes you need to do that. And you'll notice that this is a great API to look at and learn from because it's free. It doesn't require authentication or us to sign up for anything, but it also has the ability to bring it in as JSON, to bring it in as text. We could even bring it in as a Slack message. Now there is some specific code for bringing in individual jokes as well, which is there. All you need to do is go to slash J slash joke ID to get it. So we can bring in a joke and just print out the joke but we also know the ID number and we can store that if it's really useful. Common problems with this are very few and far between. Again, the major thing, if you get your capitalization wrong, it just sends the wrong header information and the web page defaults to send you back a web page. If you get crashes that are anything about passing JSON, you should always try and print out the content of result to see what you're actually getting back. Are you actually getting JSON back that's just malformed or are you getting back HTML or something weird? As usual, I've broken some code. Go fix it for me. Your challenge today is to build from this basic principle a program that will give you a random joke and ask you if you want to save it. To save that joke, it should save the ID number in a replit DB. And when prompted, you could ask it to tell you the jokes you've saved and it would go through your replit DB, use the ability of I can has dad joke to fetch a specific joke and then place that on the screen. So it's a way of viewing random jokes and ideally saving the ones you think are pretty good. As ever, publish in the community when you're done and share it with us using the hashtag replit 100 days of code when you're confident to share it. Tomorrow, I'm going to point you at a weather API and you're going to build me a weather app.